All right, Shalom. Wam. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimi Al Shabbat or Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shaz from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's His true name, and Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also gonna give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach all the Scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I wanted to uh, get into this article that I found on RT News. Uh, which is entitled Bill Gates says bars and restaurants should sadly be closed for 46 months. No return to normal until 2022. Okay. And you see, you know, this is the agenda. All right. This is, you know, the plan um, that's put into place. All right. And we've been saying this for, you know, a long time. All right. That, you know, things aren't going to get back to normal. This is the way it's, they uh, intended it uh, to be. And it's going to continue all right this way and it's gonna actually gonna get worse all right and a lot of you people are about to um you're about to uh, uh really feel the, the you know the uh the choke okay from uh the elites okay and um i'm gonna read a little bit of this i'm gonna bring out a couple scriptures okay it says uh microsoft co-founder bill gates believes a return to normal life is further down the road for the u.s than people expect despite a uh a Rona uh, injection being approved and distributed this week. Okay, it says, conceding that by the, by the summer of 2021, the U.S. should be way closer to normal than we are now. Uh, Gates, who had donated millions to vaccination efforts through his foundation, believes a full return to normal will likely not be possible until after 2022. And it says, the billionaire told CNN on Sunday that unless we help other countries get rid of this disease, and see high vaccination rates within the U.S., the risk of reduction uh, will be possible. Oh, my bad. The, the risk of reintroduction will be uh, impossible. And you see, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get everybody, okay, under this uh, agenda, okay? You know, they don't want uh, anybody missing, so to speak, all right? They, they, they don't care if you're, you know, in the Amazon by yourself, okay? Or if you're in a big city like New York, okay? They don't care. They want to get everybody from all, you know, from the U.S. all the way down to China, you know. That's the uh, agenda, all right. And um, I'm going to keep reading. It says, big public gatherings should continue to be banned and most bars and restaurants around the country should sadly be closed to curb infection rates, according to Gates. And you see, they really want to destroy the small businesses, all right, because that's, you know, um, who owns these bars and restaurants. It's not, you know, uh, uh, these big corporations okay and the only um you know businesses that are really you know thriving right now are your costcos you know your um sam's clubs you know targets uh what is it um uh, 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 uh walmarts etc okay that's really it you know pretty much you you have to go to like uh one central spot to get all your supplies okay whether it be you know food to your, you know, clothing, to your, you know, home improvement, um, uh, uh items, okay, you gotta go to these, uh, particular warehouses, that's, that's what they wanna do, you know, they, you know, uh, they, they really got people trying to go to these places, all right, and eventually these particular, uh, uh, corporations, they're gonna be, um, those places where they distribute, all right, uh, basically rations, all right, that, that's how you're going to get by eventually, you know, because look, everyone that's not a part of the uh, upper echelon. All right. You know, if you're not, a, you know, w you know, a CEO, somebody that that's a top person in these big corporations, or if you're not a politician, you are basically going to um, be, um, you know, uh, you know, be giving out uh, you're going to be given food rations and you're going to be told what to do. All right. I'm going to keep reading a little more. It says, a real return to normal, he theorized, is possible only after 12 to 18 months if we manage it well. And they just want to keep uh, putting the choke on people more and more and more. All right? That's what they want to keep doing. And I'm going to keep going down because those two paragraphs aren't really um, necessary. I'm going to keep going. It says, Gates did not specify what complications are possible. A vaccine has already been approved by both the FDA and CDC and begun distribution. 
People can expect to start receiving it as early as Monday, according to the CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield. Gates also became a go-to expert for the mainstream media when it comes to Rona-19, thanks to his donations to, um, to injection efforts, as well as a viral video from 2015 where he appears to predict a similar pandemic that the world would be unprepared for. And you see, they he's in the know. He already knows what's going on. And they, they use him as a... You gotta think about it. This guy has no medical background, but somehow he's the go-to expert. You know, that just shows you that this is all pre-planned. It's nothing that was um, organic about this, all right? But let me get this scripture right here. This is uh, Job 13 and 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies. You're all physicians of no value. See, these people are forgers of lies, okay? You know, they, they don't tell you the truth. They don't um, care about your safety and well-being. They want to just uh, uh, um, eliminate you. They want to, um, you know, put you to death, basically, through these um, particular injections, okay? You know, it's uh, uh, basically killing... It, these things kill you slowly, okay? You know, they don't want to uh, look like the bad guy, so they do things subtly like this, all right? And you see... Let me get this. It says here in the book of Daniel... Where is it? Uh, Daniel, the... Uh, what is it? The... Where's Daniel? Daniel, was it the 8th chapter and the 24th verse? Let's get this. This is Daniel 8 and 24 to 25. It says, And his power shall be mighty, but not with, but, but not by his own power. And uh, really, the Heavenly Father set up these uh, elites, okay? The Edomites. The Lord set them up, all right? To um, basically fulfill prophecy. And their main... Um, purpose in this story, okay, that the Heavenly Father has made is to be that nation that's wicked, all right, and that nation that is used to punish uh, the world right now with the sword. But ultimately, these people, they're going to get a judgment for all the uh, wickedness that they uh, have committed, all the iniquities, all the cruel judgments, okay, you know, and it says, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully. Okay, he's going to destroy wonderfully. You know, and I want to look up that word wonderfully. I actually never have. So let me look that up right now. Hold on real quick. This is uh, Daniel's 8 and 24. Let me look up that. Whoa. Sorry about that. Daniel's 8 and 24. Let's look up that word wonderfully. All right, it's Pala. All right, it's to be marvelous, wonderful. Be surpassing, be extraordinary, separate by dis, uh, distinguishing action. You see, this guy is gonna, um, hey man, he's just gonna do, uh, uh, uh he's gonna destroy, okay, wonderfully, marvelous, marvel, marvelously, all right, surpass, he's gonna they, be sur surpassing, all right, anything normal. This guy, this guy's not gonna just, you know. Kill people and, you know, oh, you know, maybe five, ten people. This dude's going to kill thousands and and millions of people, man. All right? And I'm going to keep reading. It says, and he shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And a lot of our people, as the scriptures talk about, their sheep led to the slaughter. A lot of our people, they have no clue what's going on. And a lot of them, you know what, they're willingly ignorant. You try to, you know, wake them up. You try to um tell them what's going on. They, they'll say you're crazy. And, you know, you, you'll prove, you know, give them some facts and then they'll just, uh, you know, just turn a blind eye, you know, and then they'll get mad at you. They'll, you know, fight you. That's why we, we really don't, you know, talk to people who aren't, you know, um, aren't willing to listen and who aren't ultimately a part of the elect. All right. Now I'm going to keep reading. And through his policy, his laws, you know, the things that he sets up, his quote unquote advices. Okay. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft, craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. Okay, meaning he's going to be proud. All right. And by peace shall destroy many. And that's how a lot of people are going to die. Because, you know, we're using this, you know, um, this as an example, these injections, right? He's going to, um, which they're already pushing it now that, you know, you know they're, they're saying that, you know, we need to get this. This is, you know, um, in order for things to basically go back to normal, you know, people, everyone basically needs to have this, 
you know, uh, uh, in their system. Um, you know, think life is going to go back to normal. We're all going to have our jobs back. You know, the economy is going to be booming afterwards. You know, they're going to say all these things. You know, people are going to say, oh, you don't have to worry about, uh, 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 you know, the elderly getting sick and dying. Oh, your children can go back to school. They're going to say all of that stuff, okay? But ultimately, a, a lot of people are going to die because of that, because they believe in it. You know, because they believe in, um, the, you know, the lies that are pushed. All right. And I'm going to keep reading. It says, and he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And this is when Yahweh Shai comes back whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because when the Lord comes back to stop this madman, this psychopath, okay. These guys are actually going to try to fight uh, the Lord himself and they're going to get put down. All right, they're going to get put down like rabid dogs. You know, the Lord's not going to uh play with these uh you know, these Edomites. All right? Cuz look if the Lord doesn't come back, the um no flesh is going to be saved cuz these guys will kill everybody including themselves because they're a self-destructive uh uh nation. These people don't know what's good for them. They don't know what's beneficial. All they know is, you know, bloodshed, you know, rape, robbery, and murder. That's it. That's all they know. Okay? And it's very evident. Um, now I'll keep reading. Um, it says, Gates' promotion of injections and lockdowns, however, have has earned him plenty of critics, especially from conservatives, as such restrictions have become more and more controversial. Okay? And you see, people are just tired of this. All right, well, it doesn't matter what nation you're from, okay? You could be an Edomite, you could be an Israelite, you could be a Japhite, so on and so forth. You know, the common person is just tired of this. They're tired of the oppression. They're, try they're tired of being, um, uh, you know, having to follow an agenda that's not even legit, okay? They're tired of it. People aren't prospering. People are basically, pretty much the world is on lockdown right now. People basically, everyone is uh, uh, under house arrest for the most part. You, well, what do they tell you? Stay at home. Be safe. You know, you can only go out for so long. Uh, um, You know, oh, oh, bars and restaurants are closed. You can't dine in. You only take out. Got to keep going, going, going. Can't go to the movies. You can't go to the, you know, museums. You can't do anything. You know, oh, you can't go, you know, to the beaches, the parks. You can't do the, they, they got, they got you basically on house arrest. You're just able to do a couple more things than somebody that actually is legitimately on house arrest. But, you know, for the most part, that's basically where we're at. And it's just only going to get worse. All right. And I got two scriptures I want to pull out. Um, I want to get this one first in the book of Proverbs 29. Let's just, you know, hit this real quick. Um, Proverbs 29 and uh, 1 or no, 2. It says when the wicked it says, no, my bad. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing the people mourning because the wicked are in authority. All right? They're in rulership. They're the ones that are calling the shots. And nobody's happy about it. No one's happy right now. Everyone is, man, there's an increase in suicide. There's an increase in domestic violence. You know, there's an um, a increase in um, a crime right now. And why is that? Because these people are in rulership and they, 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 what does it say? The tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Even their mercy is cruel. The little bit that they're allowing you to do is driving people, you know, uh, mad right now. People can't even survive. People can't even, uh, are barely getting by day to day. You know? It's terrible. It's terrible. You know, with, uh, uh, you know, the state that we're living in right now. All right. I had another scripture. I for some reason it slipped my mind though. I'm trying to remember what it was. Let me look at this real quick. Oh, there we go. The book of Isaiah, the water Yahweh Shai. Cuz I for some reason almost forgot about it. Um I want to get this main point right here. Cuz I made a statement how everybody's basically um Man, this whole this whole chapter is heavy, man. But you know, I'm just gonna get straight to the point for you know time's sake. But um, but yeah, so you know, pretty much they got everyone you know locked in. You know, everything's almost like 
uh, we're, 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 we are in martial law to a degree. They just haven't fully declared it, you know. They haven't um, openly declared it. Let me put it like that. They're doing particular things, you know, to uh, uh, um, to get people used to uh, this this uh, new way of living. They're doing a thing called gradualism. They you know they put up more restrictions, you know, you know here and there, here and there, here and there. But eventually, it's just gonna lead to the to a point where, you know, you can't do anything. All right, they, you know, you can only come out when you know you know uh, um, when the government tells you. They they can you know uh, uh, come into your house and take what they want. They can do what they want with you. That's what it's coming down to. All right, but this is uh, let me just get this and end it off. This is Isaiah twenty four and ten. The city of confusion is broken down. All right, and that's talking about America, Babylon the Great. All right, every house is shut up that no man may come in. You see, that's going into basically martial law where you can't do anything. No one's coming in and out. You know, it's just it's just a terrible thing, man. All right, but we know as men of the Lord that these things have to occur before, um, you know, Yahweh Shai comes. So, you know, we're not even really tripping. We're just, you know, trying to, you know, um, hey, just endure to the end. And we're trying to just, you know, stay spiritual and keep our minds, you know, focused. That's all we can really do. And just, you know, wait it out, you know. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. And um, if you want to read more of that article, you know, just, um, you know, go to RT, you know. Pretty much read the whole thing for you, but yeah, the, 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 this guy's you know pushing that that agenda, and it you know it, it's gonna happen. You know, twenty twenty one is gonna be a uh, one hell of a year. Twenty twenty was already a hell of a year, but twenty twenty one is just gonna get more uh, intense. All right, and people are really gonna have to make a decision: Are you gonna bow down to you know uh, uh, the B system, all right, or are you gonna bow down to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai? That's ultimately what's happening. Our faith is being tested right now. Okay. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. about Shemiel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.